Haunted Dolls, Part 13, Susie. The Platt family began to be terrorized by a malevolent entity in the 1980s, Haunted dolls, shortly part after 13, their young daughter Susie. Heather was gifted a doll on her birthday. The, the activity started to ramp up to within begin. the home. The parents started to become very angry with the children, initially believing the kids were destroying the kitchen. But then Gary Pratt found furniture stacked in odd positions, with pieces too heavy for his kids to lift by themselves. The middle daughter was having hair pulled out of her head and hearing whispers. At night, the doll would appear in random spots in a matter of seconds. The family was frightened but didn't seek help until the father was attacked. The reverend they contacted got them in touch with Lorraine Warren. The family sat in a circle while Lorraine did something. They heard scratching on the walls and Heather seemed to be spiritually attacked, screaming and cussing. From there was contacted a trained exorcist. Rituals were performed and the entity was removed, but the family still threw Susie away. I get asked a lot, what if I buy eyes for Blair? Well, her eyes are black, but if you look inside her eye holes, she actually has eyes. They're just in the back of her head. And you can see them. They, they fell to the back of her head, so she has eyes and they're there. You just have to look inside. 
side to see her eyes. This story, it asked maybe not want to get shit from thrift stores no more, bro. Oh There's this woman named Debbie Merrick. Okay. She went to a thrift store and she found these dolls that she thought were really cool. So she bought them, three of them, and took them home. One of the dolls, every time she picked it up, she would get this feeling that didn't feel right. Yeah. So she put it away and she left it in like a guest room. Okay. So she could never see it again. Ever since that day, when she goes to bed, she would hear footsteps creaking in her hallway. Now she thought it was just her daughter, so she woke up to go check on it. She went to her daughter's room, and her daughter was sleeping. It wasn't her. The next night, her husband woke up with scratches on his leg. Come on, man. The husband's like, okay, it has to be with that doll, because that doll's giving me weird vibes, For sure, right? yeah. The word and the rumor about this doll went uh -huh. rampant, went viral, and they actually got invited to live television. For the doll? For the doll. So they were on, no, this is a true story, Yanni. What the fuck? Listen, so they were on live television, right? Yeah. They had the doll sitting with them on a rocking chair. Stop. Now, there's footage of the doll no. during the interview. No. Check this out. No, no it's way. Crazy. So when they brought it, when they brought it to interview, look closely on the 